Hello, Terraria Enthusiasts! My name is James, and welcome back to the Calamity mod. So, I've had a very stressful few days playing Calamity, and you may have uh, you may have noticed that on the channel, I actually haven't been uploading any videos because I've been so stressed trying to record this damn fight. So, if you haven't been around for the last few episodes and you're new, hello, my name is James. We've been trying to defeat a certain boss called the Devourer of Gods. Now, the cool thing about this boss is it has a really unique AI, and it's actually a really nice boss fight. It's not actually unfair, it just has a few things that needed tweaking. So, essentially, I have been doing it for a few days, and I've been failing all the time, and so the creator of the mod has been watching the series, and he made a change to the Devourer of Gods last night. And here I was thinking, you know, all my hopes and dreams had been solved because the change that he made is actually something that I requested and I really like the change. So I downloaded that version of the mod, right? And here I am thinking, oh my god, I'm saved. I'll be fine now. Um, not knowing that the version I actually had was broken and uh, it was actually impossible to, to defeat the Devourer of Gods. In that version, it was impossible. So I fought that version for a couple of hours, wondered why I couldn't beat it, and then I was complaining on the Calamity Discord, and then people pointed out to me that I'm a moron, because I have the broken version. So we're going to do the new, new version, and hopefully I can do it. But we'll see. I mean, I'm still learning. Uh, but my god, you have no idea how stressed I am and how annoyed I am, but it's nobody's fault. I'm annoyed at myself. It's a hard boss fight. It honestly really is. It's it's harder than all the other ones so far. Actually, you know what? Okay, it is hard, but it's fun hard. Whereas I think Providence is still bad. So, just so you all know my standpoint on that. Okay. Right, so I'm going to make sure it's daytime. Because daytime reduces stress. We're going to do this overlay thing that I do. And I'm going to give it a good go. And we'll see what happens. So you guys can see my uh, my progress. And I'm sure you guys will notice by now, there's a little change during the fight. Well, you'll notice in a second. But the new change that I requested is for the uh, invulnerability phase to be kind of removed. I kind of thought it'd be better if it was. So this is the this is where before you couldn't do any damage. Now you can, uh, you can damage it. So this bit's really nice because now you can actually target the head quite nicely if you're playing on a lower resolution than most people play on, like me. So I only play on 720. I don't play in 1080. So now it's a lot nicer. And I can, I can relax as I play. Alright, give me some health. There we go. Nice. <laughs> okay, I'm just waiting for it to come back. Because if you go too far off map, it usually just disappears. Okay. Please stop shooting me. It's getting very annoying. Look at these little things. I'm going to have to just kill them while I wait. Hopefully when it comes... Alright, okay. I was going to say, hopefully when it comes back, it doesn't just slice me in two. So yeah, this is the change, but... I'm just going to go over this in a second. This, this, uh, the problem that happened, right? So essentially, during this part of the fight, it was all going good in the new version. I was really, really happy. I was thinking, wow, all my problems have, uh, have been solved. But, uh, the problem was, when you got to just a little bit past this point of the fight, it would become invincible, essentially. You wouldn't be able to do, uh, proper damage to it. It would take, like, the small, this point here. It would take the smallest bit of damage to it, like the smallest, smallest little bit. And so it was just like, wow, what is the point? And it would take like five minutes before you've even knocked down any part of it. So it was pretty mad. I mean, I'm glad they fixed it. I was uh, pretty, I was going pretty crazy about it. Oh, there you go. Oh my God, it's already on its way back. I hope I can build up the speed fast enough. Okay, fly up. There we go. <laughs> so yeah, the change is nice. The change is nice. It makes it just, all right, okay, that's not fair. It swapped from, oh my god, see that's not meant to happen. It swapped from bottom layer to top track. It's meant to swap from bottom layer to top track where it doesn't hit you, but that's swapped from bottom layer to aggressive mode again. So I have no idea, right? Okay, well I'm still salty as hell. So jump cut, we're going to see how far I can get in this next fight instead.
Oh my... Oh my god, I did it! Oh my Jesus. Right, <laughs> it is done! I hate that fight. Can I get an amen? Can I get a hallelujah? Can I get a screw that fight forever? Even though I've probably got to do it again. Oh my god, I finally bloody did it. I am so chuffed. I would scream, honestly. I feel like the, the amount of emotion that could come at me right now is just way too much. I'm so glad I finally did it. So screw that boss. That boss is trash. No, I'm kidding. It's, it's a very fair boss, but it did take me a few days to do, so I am kind of bitter. <sighs> I'm so glad it's done. Open that up. Let's see what we get. So, we are getting an intense staff of mechworm. It summons an aerial mechworm to fight for you. Oh, that's pretty sick. I'm pretty chill about that. That's pretty good. Xelius Exilus. So, very fast speed. Uh, fires influx beams and summons laser. Me good. I love it. Couldn't even get my words out. <laughs> yeah, I like this. This is cool. I could see this being a fun weapon. Look at that. Nice. <gasps> we should try the mirror master. I've got hiccups now because I inhaled. Oh, look at that. Boy. <laughs> cool. Uh, the obliterator. Oh, it's a yo-yo. Snap, you know me, I love me some yo-yos. Why is it like that, though? I don't get what made it. Oh, wow, look at that. Okay, the obliterate is pretty cool. Um, The warding nebulous core. 20% increased damage, so it's already pretty good. And critical strike chance. Summons a floating nebula star to protect you. You have 10% chance. All right, okay, awesome. So I'm pretty chuffed about that. Um... Sick. And I got 35 Cosmolite bars. Whoa, what's going on here? Is that because of my yo-yo? Oh, it's because of my mech worm. So, whatever. It's because of my little buff. Cool. Right, so... Although I'm saying screw that boss, I am going to try that boss one more time off camera now. Just to see if I can uh, if I could do it a little bit quicker with this new uh, buff. Just so I can farm out some bars as well. Because I'm going to need Cosmolite either way. So, I'm glad it's finally done. Screw that boss, though. Um, alright, but I'll see you guys in a, in a few minutes, yeah? Okay, see you soon. Alright, so I, uh, I didn't make it through. <laughs> I gave it one go, I didn't make it through, and I'm kind of thinking, I want no more of that fight for today, because I've already done this fight so many times today, so, I'm so glad it's over. Like, I'm glad because I can get back to, uh, to making work again, because, honestly, like, we've been stuck on that fight for so long that it... Like, it stopped me doing work because I stopped working on the series because I I couldn't beat it. So, you know what I mean? It was very demotivating as a YouTuber. So, obviously, if you're just a regular player, you know, you're not going to really feel the burn of that. So, what can I make with my glorious Cosmolite? Because there is just way too much I can make. Look at all that. So, this is why you have to farm it out. Really? You need... Oh, that's... I'm not a big fan of that. That you need a... Uh... That you need Cosmolite to do uh, the Dragon Egg. I'm not a big fan of that. So there's a Dreadon's Forge. So ultimately that's what I'm going to have to use first. And then to even make that I'm going to have to do the Pumpkin Moon and the Frost Moon. So I'm excited for that. Uh, there's Dragon Fruit I can make now. Uh, there is... Oh, what's this? Oh, that's for Bumblebird, right? So Bumblebird. There's the uh, Silver Armor. That's cool. The Aegis Argion, definitely going to have to make that. So that is that, plus that, plus some Phantasms. So we'll make this now. Oh no, wait, can't make that now. Need a Dryden's Forge. Okay. And then look at this. So you can make the uh, the Elysian Tracers. Very excited about that. Uh, oh my god, look at some of these accessories. These are cool. The Sponge. I don't know what this is. I haven't worked on this. God Slayer. You can make God Slayer soon. So that's really cool. And then obviously Silver Armor. Okay. And then the Eye of Extinction. So that's Supreme Calamus. So you need it for... Ex See, this means you're going to have to farm DOG a lot. And I'm not a big fan of farming. So, you know, admittedly I'm not too big on that. I can make one of these now. So this is the Alpha Ray. 200 magic damage. I mean, this is listed as 283, but I've not seen what the Alpha Ray does yet, so who knows. Cleansing Blaze. Sounds pretty cool. 
some cool swords. Some of these are just things that you can make on your own, like the minigun. That's cool. So there are a lot of things I'd like to make. I feel like the alpha ray is going to be one thing that I'd really like to make. Oh my god. Oh, I can't wait for that. I genuinely can't. I've already found out the forbidden fragments of that. Look at some of this stuff. The Agur of Elements and all these mixed together. The T1000. Pretty cool again. So you get some... There is some banging stuff. There is some banging stuff to be made. But guys, I'm going to end the episode there. It may turn out to be a very short one. But do remember I've spent days making this episode. So although it's short, you know, that's going to suck for me. But hopefully, uh, hopefully it was still fun to watch. And, uh, and tomorrow... We'll get cracking with some of these uh, events and new items. I hope you've all been well. I see some of you are receiving your uh, t-shirts and stuff. That's so cool. I'm sorry to everyone who missed out. They were limited edition, but uh, I may be doing some more soon. Right. Have a great day, everyone, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.